Baby, let me just say this. You call pick me's or pick me all day long, and you can even say, oh, you're just trying to get attention of men online. But if it's one thing pick me's going to do, we're going to get picked. While you're still sitting on the internet complaining about a man and how men ain't this and men ain't that, but also posting your OnlyFans in your bio and your cooch on the internet wishing that you had attention from a man. But <laughs> that story is for another day. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. First, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that I've been getting, not only for 1K on my first video, but also 800 subscribers. I really appreciate the support that I'm getting. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and also hit that bell so that you can get a notification on the next video that I do. Now, before I get started in this video, I first want to let you guys know that I am coming out with some merch and I actually have it on right now. It is a tweet that I will be getting into in the video and it is the I am a prize tweet that I put out. It has the tweet on the front and also the phrase and it says pick me in the back. And that merch is officially now available to be purchased. It comes in a t-shirt or a hoodie and you can purchase either or with the links that I have put down in my description box. So go ahead and click those links if you want either a t-shirt and a hoodie. And thank you for your support. This is how you support me. Which leads me to one of the first tweets that I want to talk about, which is the I am the prize tweet that went viral. And I'm going to read it for you real quick. Now the tweet says, I am a black woman, I'm single, I don't have any kids, zero abortions, I'm fit, I'm feminine, I'm friendly, I'm pretty, it's looking like I am very much the prize. And this tweet was first shared, after I shared it, it was first shared on Spiritual Word and then on other platforms and other, other pages. And many people wrote think pieces on it, some good and some bad. Now usually when I tweet stuff like this, I usually tweet it either really late at night or really early in the morning. And I also tweet it because, you know, I have a type of relationship with my followers where I play around with them. That's just the type of relationship I have with them. So that is what this tweet was. It was just that. It was a playful tweet with a slight hint of seriousness. But usually when I tweet stuff around that time, I'm playing around because that's just how I am. But I, for one, not only tweeted this because I was playing around, but also because I feel like it was a slight testament for the journey I have been on in my life and what point I have come to. And it's sort of a testament to myself that I have grown in my security in myself. I used to be very insecure in my life, but I tweeted that tweet because I feel like I finally have the confidence that I have been longing for. And I have been longing to get this type of confidence all these years. Yes, I am the prize in my own way, but so is everyone else. You are your own prize in whatever way for whatever relationship you get in. This tweet was literally me saying to myself that even though I have been through so much in this year and I have made the mistakes that I have made, I am still very much surprised and I am still worth it. But I guess the part that everyone was mad at was the part about the abortions. But I didn't put that part in there to bring down other women. I put that part in there to sort of be playful and let it be a play on words to what a lot of men say who watch Kevin Samuels. A lot of them say, oh, you don't have kids, but do you have any abortions? So that was sort of a play on words with that. My intentions was to never put anyone down. Um, that is not what I came to do. That's not who I am. That's not what my page represents. So I really don't understand why everyone was mad at that part. But at the end of the day, a hit dog on hollow. Now, when that tweet was posted on Spiritual Word and all the other pages and the platforms, I was called everything in the book from a pick me to a B word to a lot of different stuff. But the main word that everyone was calling me was a pick me. And some people said that I was begging for attention, but that's clearly not it. Because again, I basically tweeted that to be playful. I tweeted that to kind of make my followers laugh. It really wasn't something that I would assume that would blow up. But unfortunately it did. And here we are. I wasn't begging for attention anyway. I was simply being playful, which leads me into my next tweet that actually just went viral this past Saturday. And that tweet says, a real woman twerks for her man and not for the whole internet to see. But hey, what do I know? I'm only 22. That's what the tweet said. And there was a lot of backlash to that. Now, personally, I don't understand why there was so much controversy with this tweet because in my opinion, I believe that there was common sense. 
So it's really not, uh, it's not adding up. The math is not mathing. But of course, I know that everyone is not going to agree with me. And the reason I made this tweet is because of a viral video that I had seen um, recently where it was some women twerking on tables in a restaurant in Las Vegas. And because of that video, that is what made me tweet what I tweeted. And when I first saw the video, I had two thoughts. My first thought was, why are these women twerking on the table? And in public at that, isn't it supposed to be something private that they do? My second thought was, why do these types of videos always include black women? And after I had those thoughts, I said, well, let me tweet this, which brings me to the tweet that I tweeted and the backlash that I gained. And I said to myself, let me, let me tweet this. <laughs> and not even the whole day went by before the tweet was shared on Spiritual Word. Hey, Spiritual Word, if you're watching this, hey, thank you for sharing my tweet. But not even a day went by before this tweet went mad viral, um, being shared on different pages, different platforms, so many opinions about what I tweeted, so many opinions about something that's common sense, which I thought was common sense, but apparently not. So many women calling me a pick me and saying, oh, stop policing black women. But honestly, if we don't police black women, how else are we going to hold black women accountable? I know you say, oh, don't police black women's bodies. But at the end of the day, do you want to take accountability for your actions or not? I believe when you walk out that house, especially if you're a part of the black community, you are representing somebody, whether it's yourself, your children, your aunt, your uncle, your mom, your dad, somebody. You're always representing somebody, especially being a part of the black community, because that's just the way it is, especially since the way that we have been treated in this country. Everyone is looking at us. So I believe that you're supposed to go out and represent yourself and others in a good light, in a respectable light. But I guess that's not what everybody else wants. <laughs> and I guess by today's definition of pick me is a woman who doesn't hate men and holds women accountable. And that by definition is what a pick me is because that is exactly what I do. And because I do that, I get called pick me in the process. And you know, that's all I've ever wanted to do. All I've ever wanted to do was not only hold myself accountable, but hold the people in my community accountable because I feel like we do have to represent something well, something good. We have to represent to the best of our abilities. But now I'm starting to realize that a lot of black women in my community do not like to take accountability. So much so that they have brought up the excuse of, oh, twerking came from Africa so that they can, I guess, twerk freely or the way that they want to here. But that's a sorry excuse because let me tell you, I have looked up the history of twerking and where it came from, and I'm actually gonna get into that. Now, the origins of twerking can be traced from the country, hopefully I'm saying this right, Cote d'Ivoire, better known as the Ivory Coast. And that country is located in West Africa, where a similar style of dance known as the, hopefully I'm saying this right, Mapuakwa dance was originated. This dance has existed for centuries and consists of movements surrounded around the buttocks and emphasizing the buttocks. Although not as viewed in the same aspects of dances such as ballet or tap, when it's done right, it requires tremendous skill and attention. Now, I actually have a friend from the Ivory Coast and I show her my tweet and I also told her about many of the American women giving the excuse of twerking being from Africa. And this is what my friend said. She said that dance that twerking was originated from, known as Mapuakwa, I think I'm saying it right, I don't know, but that dance is only performed during special occasions and special events. She also gave her opinion on the video that I showed her and she said not a single African woman will be twerking on tables from where she's from or the way that women twerk in America. So y'all see, I didn't just come up here with my opinion. I also came up here with facts and resources on the matter. Not a single normal African woman that I know approves of the way that twerking is done in America or the way it's done or where it's done. And neither should you. Now, honestly, I really have no idea what the big deal was with my tweet. And I don't know what the big deal was with what I said. But I'll tell you one thing. As long as my sisters in my community 
keep making excuses and not taking accountability for their actions, they're going to keep not getting picked and unfortunately keep going back on the internet and complaining about how men ain't this and men ain't that. And then the cycle is going to continue and continue and continue. But hey, what do I know? I'm only 22. So thank you all for watching my video and I'll see you next time. Bye.